Our maths books are really comprehensive. Um, they were developed over a period of about five years. They cover everything that is required for children in primary school and year seven, almost year eight of secondary school as well. The way the content is organised in our maths books is very systematic. It goes from the four rules of number, then it goes to four rules of decimals, then four rules of fractions, then to, uh, to percentages, then ratios, so that what you're learning next has a very close relationship to what was before it. So you're not finding suddenly that you need to, to know something that you haven't been taught. We're very strong believers that children need to learn their times tables as early as possible. We have a book which uses cards and very effectively teaches children to learn their times tables at random. It's really impossible to do maths unless you know your times tables and you need to be able to multiply before you can divide. And I'm very much opposed to giving children calculators in primary schools. All children should know their times tables in year three or certainly by the end of year four and if possible earlier. If a child works through our books, they will have covered everything that they need to know. And also if they use the test books alongside those, uh, those workbooks, they will be able to, to reinforce those skills. If you look at the maths books, for example, they start off with the basics first and then they move on to slightly more complex problems. And by the time the child reaches uh, that level, he's already mastered different ways of doing the solving the same problem. And, uh, you know, it's like uh, they instant, they look at the problem and then they instantly recognize what method has to be used. Mm -hmm.